Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this star 6 problem. The mean of the following distribution is 53. Find the missing frequency P. Missing frequency P. Refer the table P. This value is missing. So we need to find this one. Here is mean is given. So what are the mean method is there? First one is direct method. Second one is assumed mean method. Third one is step deviation method. In this question is not mentioned any method. So we will take direct method. Compared to this method, direct method is very easy. In your exam, they will give assumed mean method to find the missing frequency means what you will do? You will take the assumed mean method formula and do this problem. Otherwise, your sum is wrong. Carefully check in your question what method they asked in your exam. Based on that, you solve the problem. Class 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100 is given. You see the last digit 20, first digit also 20 starting from, ends with 20, starts from 20. Check these steps carefully in your exam. Class interval formula. What is the class mark formula? Class mark is equal to upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2. Here ends with 20 starts with 21 means we can't use this one. We have another method is there. We will see next problem. Upper class limit. Upper class limit is 20, lower class limit is 0. So, 20 plus 0 divided by 2 is equal to 20 by 2 is equal to 10. First one is 10. So, we will write here 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100. First one is 10. Second one. Upper limit is 40. Lower limit is 20 divided by 2. So, 60 by 2 is 30. So, second is 30. Third one is upper limit is 60. Lower limit is 40 divided by 2. So, 100 by 2 is equal to 50. Third one is 50. Fourth one is upper is 80. Lower is 60 divided by 2 is equal to 140 divided by 2 equal to 70. 4th is 70. 5th is upper is 100, lower is 80 divided by 2 equal to 180 divided by 2 is equal to 90. So, last one is 90. Xi comes. What is Fi? Fi is frequency Fi. So, 12. First one is 12. Second, 20 to 40 is 15. 40 to 60 is 32. 60 to 80 is P. 80 to 100 is 13. Now, we will do sigma fi. How we will calculate sigma fi? Sigma is total. Sigma fi equal to. Add this one. 12 plus 15 is 27. 27 plus 13 is 40. 40 plus 32 is 72. Plus P. Fi xi. So, what you will do? This is Fi. This is Xi. Multiplication. So, multiply this two. 10 into 12 equal to 120. 30 into 15 is equal to 450. 50 into 32 is equal to 1600. 70 into P is 70P. 90 into 13 is equal to 1170. We will add all these things except this one. So, what comes? Uh, sigma Fi Xi. This is total. 3340 plus 70P. Now, we will take direct mean method. 
So direct mean method, what is the formula of direct mean method? X bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. X bar, what is X bar? X bar is 53. The mean of the following distribution is 53. So we will take X bar as 53. Sigma fi xi is this value. 3340 plus 70p divided by sigma fi is 72 plus p cross 53 open the bracket 72 plus p equal to 3340 plus 70p multiply this and this 53 into 72 is 3816 plus 53p equal to 3340 plus 70p. So, what we will do now? P bring one side, number should go to another side. So, 3816, keep it here. This number comes this side is plus. Plus comes this side is minus 3340 equal to 70p. Here is plus 53. It goes this side is minus 53p. Subtract this. What comes? 476 is equal to 70p minus 53p is 17p. 476 divided by 17 is equal to p. Divide this one. What comes? p is equal to 28. So, this value is 28. Thanks for watching this video.